Hey guys, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. And trust me, guys, it works. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. And the best of all, it is totally free. Yes, totally free. So download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to edit that part out. But good morning, everyone. How is everyone's? I don't know, good morning, you know. I don't have coffee right now, so I got water. Health is wealth, not only in 2022, but everywhere. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, hello. I see blue on my screen. That'd be the masking tape on my <laughs> computer oh. webcam. Don't mind me, I'm trying to put on my contacts. <laughs> I didn't know if you were dead or something, so I'm just like, I'll just, in the meantime. No, not try yet. To put these on. These are a bitch to put on, especially on my left eye. Mm. Fuck, it keeps coming <laughs> off. That, that was always a problem. But, hello. Hello. And when it was 10 o'clock and I didn't get anything, I'm like, I don't know if she's, what she, if she's up or, or whatever. And you said, yeah, the, I, the alarm didn't go off. I'm like, oh, so you it just, did not. so you I just I got up. up. I forgot to hit the final button. Oh, it ain't that fun. I've been up since 6.30. Don't ask me why. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll put it on that later. That sounds like suffering. <laughs> I mean, I'm a morning person. I, I prefer being a morning person. I mean, I don't uh, know why. I don't I know not. why. I mean, God, I, think my whole, I think my whole thing's frozen. Is it? Well, I can, like, you're moving just fine, but I think it's the actual application. Let's see. I had to use the browser version because the desktop version didn't want me to do it. I think it's working. I, I don't even know what the hell's going on. Oh. I, I guess I'll just leave it there. Because what did it make you want to do? Do a, like verify your email and whatnot, or? Yeah, and it took like a good couple minutes for the email to come in. That's. that's and then it's dumb. like, we don't have a browser version on Firefox. Ox, would you like to download Windows Teams? And it's like I already have Windows Teams. That's how I got here. I, mean, I, I know when I did. Uh, one of my buddies. Uh, when she had to download Microsoft Teams. I don't know if her computer just wasn't strong enough or something, but yeah, let's just say it did not work out for her. It it, yeah. it went through well, but let's just say uh, she had to restart it twice because it froze her computer. Yikes. So, so I was just hoping that it wasn't doing the same to you. You know, it just said that I hadn't signed up yet when I just signed up. Oh, well, welcome to Microsoft for you. Uh -huh. Well, because another one that I used to use, um, it was okay, but they wanted to charge me for, like, like most of their features. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I could record like a two hour podcast, but it, yeah, it, it was just 
I think 20, 30 bucks a month. Like mm-hmm. after you hit a certain threshold, I think after an hour, they want to charge you for their pro version. And then that's when they want to, it's like 20, 30 bucks a month. Mm-hmm. So I just stuck with Microsoft Teams because since I already bought the domain for the email, for the, like the website and shit like that. So mm-hmm. um, it came with Microsoft like office for oh. for just five bucks a month and i'm like if it's five bucks a month and i get access to everything i'm gonna do it I mean, that's that's nice yeah but explain to the audience who you are uh is it okay if i don't use my real name if i i don't know if i'm comfy with that if it's gonna be on the internet oh no yeah, you're good hello i'm nix uh you use your real name? I do, yeah. I'm Marco's coworker. At the at the infamous Wally World. At Wally World. Because then, if you want, on the episode when I actually upload it, I I won't put in your real name. All right, can, thank you. I can I can put in Nick's in the title, and whatnot. I'd appreciate it. I have to remind myself just so I don't say your real name and say, "Oh shit, I gotta I gotta go in and." Uh, and either just Fine, silence you it. Slip or... up. It's not like it's never happened before. No, it happens. I mean, like right now, technically, uh, how I have it like titled right now, so I know I have it as your name, but that won't go like in the actual final. Thing. All right. But, yeah. You can watch it on uh, YouTube, almost everywhere. Uh, YouTube. Uh, a- Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Pandora, iHeartRadio, and basically anywhere that that you can that you can hear. So if you want to re-listen to it, <laughs> you can. All right. But yours will come out not technically this Sunday, but next Sunday, so in about two weeks ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but what made you start at Walmart? Uh... I applied to a whole bunch of places, and a lot of them ghosted me entirely. Mm. Meanwhile, Walmart, it's like, I applied, and then, like, within 48 hours, they're like, hey, we know you applied for a stocking position. Would you be cool with front end? And it's like, yeah. And that's how I got the job. That was pretty much the entire interview. That's how it was with me. I mean... Well, I want to, I guess you could say I got ghosted by the ones here in Lincoln, but I I left my other store with a bad reputation. I, I think I did already tell you, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so I applied to that Gretna one, and how you said, in about 48 hours, I was just just sitting sitting on the bed. I get a text. Hey, would you like to uh, schedule a virtual it wasn't an interview i think it said virtual tour i'm like that's a new that's virtual new. tour and and so i scheduled and then brenda called me and she's like yeah so you know you want to get the cashier position but i they didn't want a cashier position but i said i mean for 16 an hour and this is just a job yeah. for right now so I was like i guess i guess what the hell yeah i, I guess i'll do it but they have changed a lot when I because when did you start working there? Uh back in June. Like at the very back. beginning of June. Oh, so you haven't even had a year yet. Nope. Oh, well, when I started because I used to work uh when I when I, when I first it was 2019. And it was like here's cashier position. You applied for a customer host or a like a, I think that's AP or customer service and self-checkout. Like you had your own dedicated title Mm -hmm. now it's just front end team associate you do everything yeah and so when she said that i'm like oh i don't know if i want to but then i went in and it just said front end team services i'm like oh well i think everything and then the training was everything including the lottery ticket i don't think i got lottery tickets really we don't we don't sell lottery tickets I got the training for Powerball. I'm like, lo- I'm like, why that the hell am I? That might be customer service, because I know you can do customer service and I can't. Which is weird. How come? Uh, 
I just never got the training for it. I'm pretty sure most front end is all one thing, but customer service is still like a separate category. That's weird because I got training for everything up front, self checkout, cashier, um, customer service. Oh, what? Wow. I got trained for everything except customer service. The desk, not. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever. It is what it is. Because I, I guess they have switched it. Uh, well, split it, right? Where you, it's one, I mean, at that Walmart, it's both. But I know uh, at a Walmart here, one part is customer service, the other part's the money center. So any returns, whatever, you go to customer service, but anything like in the name, financially, you go to the money center, which I don't know why they're separating it. Mm. It's what it is. In a way, I can see it because if the financial portion, portion, my bad, Maybe if it takes longer. Because if it takes I don't longer, it so, takes longer. So, I don't. Easy way to designate. These are the people who work with money, and these are the people who don't. But, you know, customers don't give a crap. They will say, I don't care. Help me. Yeah. Because like, so far, I am what's... not allowed to do that. You don't want me transferring <laughs> your money. It will not go to the right place. He'll say, I won't even know how where to put in my numbers. Yeah. So far, what's been like the worst experience that you've gotten there at that Walmart? Ooh. So far. Well, I think I've missed most of the worst people because a lot of the times I'll come back from break or lunch and everyone will be like, you missed this awful bitch. <laughs> and it's like, oh, that sounds like a mess. That's that's Walmart for you. That's Walmart. <laughs> Like, I guess the Gretna one from the other two Walmarts that I've been to, um, the one in Lincoln, the one that I transferred to in Lincoln and the one in Gretna have been the mm -hmm. nicer ones. Granted, it was, they have been remodeled. I know uh, the one in Scott Bluff, they, uh, they have remodeled it, but when I left, it wasn't remodeled. Um, but even, even then, being outside as a cart pusher, oh yeah, <laughs> we like. I guess front end will see everything. I mean, I guess everyone, kind of everyone in the store, but I feel like front end sees the most because if someone enters the GM door almost butt naked, you're gonna see them when they walk out. Not yeah. a, not a sight you want to see, but you're gonna see something, and you're gonna yep. not want to get near. I've never actually done cart pushing yet. I'm sure it will probably happen eventually, but I'm also I'm like tiny. So I assume that's why. No, nah, you're stronger. I am, but I do not look it. Also, <laughs> I never knew. Okay, I guess uh, I think it was. Is uh, the front end, one of the front ends, the shorter darker one is her name Nargis or how is how is you pronounce it Nargis Nargis oh I don't know why I thought it was Nargis Nargis okay just so I know not a common name around here but uh -huh. this so I know because when I got up there David I guess introduced me to everyone but everyone knew my name I didn't know anyone's name mm -hmm. so I'm just trying to your name's pretty easy to remember. I'll hear it in the store when people play the Marco Polo game. And yep. that's how it was at the other store too. Uh, people would play it and and I'd always answer what and the, <laughs> the, the, the look on their faces when I'll hear someone say Marco and I'll just yell out what and they sometimes they'd get quiet or sometimes I have like walked near those people that have that we're saying it and I'll, and I'll say like in their face like what i'm here like do you need so do you need something and they'll look at me like uh oh no uh we were just trying to find a friend i'm like oh well 
I'm Marco, so. <laughs> nice to meet you. If you need anything, I won't help you. <laughs> so. To, I guess I guess you've been there since uh, June. Mm -hmm. uh, have you seen a lot of uh, uh, turnover rate? Like, like, is it true with the turnover rate being so high? Hmm. At least a little. I don't. At least one lady who was there transferred to a different state, like right after. Mm -hmm. I know. The team lead who David replaced actually quit like a month into me being there because they tried yeah. to like okay so they tried to deny she's like this 70 year old lady doesn't take no shit oh it, they tried to deny her uh two weeks off she was asking not two weeks off like a week off or something she was asking for in advance because mm -hmm. apparently someone had already asked one of the other team leads had already asked for it off mm -hmm. but she had like a trip planned so she's like all right here's my two week notice she didn't tell them that i think she just told them she was retiring because you know she didn't really need the job to support herself she was mm -hmm. fine she was just doing it because you know how old people need to get out sometimes they're bored and that's a and if you can do it while making money, you might as well. Yeah, I mean, they're bored. I mean, people retire. And mm -hmm. if, especially the ones that are just so used to working and then they retire, they realize, you know what? I'm bored. I don't know what to do. And so then they, they come to work. And some, honestly, it's kind of sad still seeing um, even, like, the older people work in, like, in the lower, lower positions. And it's not because, like, they're already far living. They, they have the money. They just... They're just bored, so they just want to do the the easy work. Like some are like still surviving off of social security mm -hmm. and and whatnot. And I'm like, it's kind of sad seeing that. And mm -hmm. when we could work with them, they'd be the nice people like ever. Yeah. But but then you hear their story, you're like, God, that's I feel sad now for <laughs> for being here. Like it. Yeah. Okay, I guess David, he said he came from. Massachusetts? I don't remember. I know I know he told me. I it's one of the states that's near New York. But I'm, and I'm like oh. oh yeah. Something way up north. I'm, in my head I'm like, you came all the way to Nebraska. Who comes to Nebraska? Me. That was because of my dad's job. Where are you originally from? Uh Southwest Missouri. Southwest Missouri? Yeah. So it's not too far. Oh, in a way, it's kind of-ish. It's about far, but not uh, far. four hours. Ah, oh, you're fine. I'm six. Four or five hours. If, if you count from Lincoln, I'm about six hours. If you add Omaha, Gretna area, six, six and a half, six and a half, seven hours. Because I'm like far west Nebraska, uh, like close to Wyoming, west Nebraska. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let's just say there's nothing there. Yeah. It's true. It's true. If if people have have ever said anything about Western Nebraska, it's true. There's nothing. We have a we have a national There's monument. There's nothing much there. I think. We the only thing I, we have west is Carhenge and Alliance, and the national the Scottsbluff National Monument. That's all we have. Once and farmland. Uh, like driving instruction thing, my mom took me to when I was like 15 or something. In one of the instructors just told me he drove all the way through Nebraska and it's just corn. That's it. Yep. That, <laughs> For like seven that, hours. That's Nebraska. Just that pretty much sums it up. Same with Kansas. Unless you go to Kansas City, everything else is corn. Because I mean, yeah. yeah, you have the college towns, uh, Lawrence and Manhattan for Kansas mm -hmm. State and the University of Kansas, just like Lincoln. Lincoln, you have UNL and a bunch of other smaller ones. Same with Omaha, you have UNO and 
<laughs> I already forgot the the Catholic college there, the big one. Uh, uh, I, th- I think it's yeah, it's a private. It's the private school too. It's downtown. Creighton. Creighton. Creighton, Creighton University. Um, you have that, and that's kind of it. Because far west, I mean, have you heard of like Shadron State or like? Western Nebraska Community College, like WNCC. No. Wow. <laughs> that is, those are the two popular colleges far west is Shadron State College and WNCC. Mm-hmm. Wow. Like when you think west, how like when someone tells you west, like how far west do you think west is of Nebraska, like Western Nebraska? Pretty much. Without everything me saying West anything. Of <laughs> like without me saying anything. Like without me saying about my true Western Nebraska life. Like mm-hmm. if uh, someone told you <laughs> Western Nebraska. It's like, all right, on a map I can draw a line in the middle of Nebraska, and you're probably on the left side of that. <laughs> draw in the middle by Carney. I'm still three hours away from Carney. That that tells you how far I am. Mm-hmm. But I mean, hey, it's uh, it's well living out there. Not really. It's it's starting to become meth head city over there. It I don't know why. I, when I was there, maybe it wasn't that bad when I was there, but now it's starting to get worse, like really bad. Yikes. Which is crazy for a small town because you have Scotts Bluff, Gearing, Terrytown, all kind of together. Mm-hmm. And then you have, like, same with just like Gretna, Boys Town, uh, Elkhorn, like, they're yeah. all, they're all going to be kind of like still near and attached. And together, that's like maybe 30,000 people. Not a lot. And that's accounting three different towns mm-hmm. together. Uh, I, mean, I think my mom and dad's hometown is 10,000 people, unless you count the one that my mom was actually closer to, which I have no idea how many people are there, but I know it's smaller. So like, I graduated with 14. Farm. I graduated with 14 people. Yeah, I believe it. My L, I could we had to do a account. My elementary and my elementary, middle school, and high school combined. Guess how many kids were there when I graduated? Uh, fifteen. I don't know. Mm, not I have that no, I'm homeschooled. I don't know what normal graduating classes are. Uh, there's about 120 kids, but for all of those schools, and uh, when you oh, go I to big... you meant, like the people graduating with you. Oh no, 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 I meant like the whole uh, school. Okay. Yeah, like like the whole like school district. Yeah, like about 120, I think. Hmm. You, so 15 you would a... still be a high number for a graduating class there. Average, yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> But I did see one day you were wearing an Overwatch beanie. I'm assuming. Is that your favorite game? It's Pokemon beanie. Oh, it's shit. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I thought it was I mean, Overwatch. it is the Overwatch colors. I never realized that. I thought from afar, I thought it was the Overwatch colors. My bad. It is the Overwatch colors. I just never realized that. No, I saw the logo and I like when I saw, I guess you can say from a Pokeball, I thought that was a logo of Overwatch, or I guess I just never looked at it. It's like directly. a beanie that's meant to look like Dawn from Pokemon, but it's orange instead of pink. That's probably why I may have gotten confused, like may have gotten like mixed with it. I I, th- I thought I saw it and I'm like, oh, her favorite games, Overwatch. I I've never played it, but I know of it, and yeah, I <laughs> I, I got it wrong. <laughs> I 
I've never played Overwatch. <laughs> and that makes it worse because you've never played it. <laughs> I know some of the lore about Overwatch. But like, oh. that's just because the animated shorts are fun to watch. Yeah. So are you much more into anime? Eh, not really. Kind of was when I was like 13. Mm. I watched so much Naruto. That's what I mean. I mean, Naruto. I watched so much Naruto. <laughs> Naruto. My brother, he uh, when he was younger, he was uh, Dragon Ball Z. He grew up on Dragon Ball Z. Like the OG Dragon Ball Z, not mm-hmm. the newer ones, like the actual true OG. And yeah, that's what like he grew up in. Like the OG for America or like the... Oh, for America, yeah. Yeah, know, yeah Dragon Ball. The, the yeah, okay. Yeah. And I never, the things I, never I know about Dragon Ball are limited, but I know that the start of it in america was actually like several seasons in yeah but that i i never got into anime i, I don't know it just wasn't my thing i was more of a spongebob person mm. spongebob and cartoon network both good choices exactly so do you play any games yes what games uh, right now I'm playing through Spirit Fair, which Spirit is Fair. an indie-ish game. Indie-ish game. I'm assuming through the through the laptop, right? Uh, what? Is it through PC? I'm assuming. Uh, no, it's on. Well, I think it is on PC, but I have it on Switch. On Switch. Mhm. Then my other question: What's your go-to console then? Switch. Switch all the way. Switch all the way or DS. But like, also, that's you're more for older Nintendo. games now. More of the Nintendo person. Mhm. That's what I grew up on. I grew up I, on. That, oh, and PS3, but like we pretty much only played Little Big Planet on that. Hmm. Little Big Planet machine. I mean, that's an OG game. It was a good game. It, it's an OG game. It's the only game that could get me and my brothers to work together. So I'm assuming your brother, you and your brothers aren't the friendliest towards each other. We were not at the time. But now as older, you're like, okay, we're, yeah. we're clean. We're chilling now. We're clean now. It's weird because it's opposite for me and my brother. Uh, we were close when we were young, but as we grew up, not that we separated. Like, we weren't brothers anymore. It's just, mm. it's it's kind of awkward. If, if I text him, it's weird to talk to him because I'm like, it's. We never had that bond when I, yes, we had it when I was growing up, but not enough to where I knew, knew what, like, what was going on. Mm-hmm. And so it's just weird when it, even when he calls me, I'm like, I don't, this is weird to say hi on the phone to you. Mm-hmm. But, but what's your go-to game on the Switch? Like, uh, like one that you would probably still play even 10 years from now. Uh, Breath of the Wild, probably. But I also brought Death Road into Canada, which is very replayable. Recently. Death Road to Canada. I feel like I've heard that. Is it a zombie it's, game? or? It's a zombie game, yes. Yeah, I, I think I've seen it. I think I watched Jacksepticeye play it. I would not I th- know if he played it, but I would believe it. I think. I, I, I first learned about it watching Peanut Butter Gamer play it. Yeah, I know I have seen someone. I don't remember if it was Jacksepticeye. Or Markiplier. Mm-hmm. I know it was someone. I don't remember who. The basic Sorry. premises? Huh? The basic premises are roguelike. That is partially text-based, partially a beat-em-up. Mm-hmm. It's very fun. You try and make it to, from Florida to Canada while fighting zombies. Okay. But I grew up on good old Call of Duty. <laughs> So I, uh, those are the first zombie games that I grew up with, and then it just kind of spiraled and to a lot of the console-based ones. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I don't. Ha- I used to have a PS5. I was one of the lucky ones to get it when it was released. Um, Keep but... forgetting it exists because no one has one, so no one makes games for it. The crazy thing is, I think it was released two, three years ago already. Fuck. Yeah, that's what I said. I I saw on Instagram. I'm like, 
it's that old? I feel like it's I feel it's maybe a year, but already at least two. I still get surprised whenever they announce something is going to be on the PS5. It's like, oh yeah, that exists. Yeah, and like I used to play it. Um, like I was playing it. I played again the newer Call of Duty. I played mm-hmm. Resident Evil because I also grew up on Resident Evil, and they weren't making like, any good games. And yeah. So that's when it just kind of. Yep. It, I, it it was just there. Collecting dust. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I, I truly collecting dust. I would wipe it off, and I'm like, I don't, because my TV is yeah. already a smart TV, so I don't need the PlayStation to work as a like for a smart TV. So I'm like, mm-hmm. what, what else? What other use do I have for this? No games are coming out. No good games that are interesting mm-hmm. to me are coming out. So I sold it. I'm like, I don't use it. I gonna there sell are it. There maybe two PS3. PS games I can think of in the past I don't know how many years that I would be interested in playing. Wait, actually three. There were two Spider-Man games. Two Spider-Man, Spider-Man games and Stray. Um, Spider-Man, did you play The Amazing Spider-Man? Or? Uh, I didn't play either of them because I don't have... <laughs> I guess I could borrow my brother's PS4, but like I didn't want to play that bad. <laughs> and do you, do you watch uh, YouTube on your free time? Do you, is that what you do now, or? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. I have ADHD, so a million hobbies and not enough time for any of them. What what hobby do you, like? Do you truly want to do? Like, what's one that you think that you might actually kind of stick to? Oh, uh. Well, I have been drawing since I was like 13 and I haven't stopped yet. So that's probably going to stick around. But I've long since determined that we're not making a career out of that. I just Why don't do you want say to. that? I just don't want to. I like it better when I don't. I'm, I like to draw what I want to draw and not what someone's paying me to draw. Yeah. You, you know. And what when do you you're doing draw? something for money, it kind of takes the joy out of it sometimes. And what do you draw? Characters I make up most of the time. Really? Sometimes Danny Phantom. Danny Usually Phantom? Not. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I used to watch. Um, I, I already forgot the show. It's been so long, but I know who you're talking about. Gotta catch them all because he's Danny Phantom the show but i know who you're talking about mm-hmm. i that was I like another. everyone who's around my age if i mention danny phantom to them it's like oh yeah danny phantom how old are you 21 i'm 21 22? oh 21 as well yeah I'm, same here 21 so we all grew up in the same era yep and that era is danny phantom apparently like everything well, else except like SpongeBob, it's like hit or miss whether or not someone's seen it. But it's like, for some reason, everyone watched Danny Phantom. That a lot of the Cartoon Network shows. Um, mm-hmm. Did you ever watch Cartoon Network? I missed a lot of it. We did not have cable growing up mm-hmm. because my mom thought it was a scam, and she was more or less right. <laughs> so Back like, then, yeah, it was expensive. I'll be honest, it was expensive. I watched a lot of PBS. PBS Kids. Yeah. And also, and, like, the cooking shows that were on the other adult channels. I mean, hey, nowadays when you get older, you're like, hey, you know, maybe maybe I should cook something like that. Mm-hmm. A lot of it is, I don't remember a lot of it, but I'm sure some of it stuck. Probably. Just like in my subconscious. Probably. It's good. Did you ever have, when you were younger, did you have like Wi Fi at all or was it dial up? Uh, we had a modem, but it was through the phone line. So it was like something in between. <laughs> it's like we got internet 
via the phone line, but it did work as Wi-Fi. Or maybe it didn't. I had a I had a really old brick PC that worked on Windows XP at the time. Hey, so it here. could have been attached by a wire. I wouldn't have known. Same here. I mean, I had to do the whole good old dial up and mm -hmm. then we and then we switched over to a uh, century link with a download of 0.25 megabytes. Wow. Yeah. And then as time went on and now in my apartment, I have a gigabyte speed internet. So, so I'm, yeah. I'm not complaining. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and I, I think you said that you, uh, are you going to college or? Uh, not anymore. I ha got my associate's degree and I'm taking a break from that for now. Oh, you got your associate's in what? Mm -hmm. That's not, it's just in general studies because I was kind of tired of going to college. So I switched to that so I could just finish. Mm, kind of just get like the, the boring stuff out of the way, I guess you can say. Yeah, I did do yeah. a lot of, uh specialized stuff but it wasn't enough for any of the specialized degrees so general studies with a focus on computer science that's what it is that's what we got were you wanting to do more computer science or uh yeah in the future mm -hmm. i specifically i had a focus on computer programming so i learned like java and c plus I haven't, I used C Sharp way back when for a like club, after school club back in high school, but I have mm. not used it in a long time. So my familiarity is kind of shaky. No, at least you know programming. I, I know the language you're talking about, like the like the Java, the HTML, C Sharp, C++. I, I know what you're talking about. I just don't know how to code. So, mm. I mean, I... I went to UNL because uh, the first it's time I came to a different Lincoln. way of thinking about mm -hmm. problem solving. Yeah. Because, like I said, I went to UNL and mm -hmm. for computer science, and it's not that it was hard because I think we were learning C sharp. I it not it's not that it was hard. It was more so the professor kind of favored the student who kind of already had knowledge in, in programming mm -hmm. already. So, cause he said himself, um, he's like, if you already have knowledge on how to program, I don't know why you're taking my class, take the more advanced one. Like this is more for the beginners. Mm -hmm. And the first week was just the, the same old hello world programming. And then. Everywhere starts names. there. Yep. And then putting our names and whatnot. And then it the next week was, okay, learn how to find the longitude and the latitude of this area and the distance between those of your location. I'm like, okay, where in the hell was this? And I, I was following along. I read the books. <laughs> I read the chapters he wanted us to read. Uh, I I listened to the YouTube videos that he would put out if you ne if you didn't attend the class, you could uh, watch the YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Even that, I'm like, okay, I don't know where he got any of this. And mm -hmm. then I went to was it like longitude and latitude of real life locations or yeah of, of your actual real life location hmm. of either your current location or you could just randomly just put in coordinates and and find it that way mm -hmm. um and i i was confused and then the next week we were using github i was confused on how to use github and yeah it, github can be a bit confusing at first uh, and then it was um knowing how to like change the colors and the dimensions and whatnot on photos and Again, I was confused because a lot of the, because when I was looking at what a lot of the uh, people that were programming doing, I looked, I'm like, okay, where did you learn that? 
And they're like, mm-hmm. I already have knowledge of this. I've done this before. I'm like, well, that makes it hard. It makes it easier for you. That's I don't rough know. That's for seeing as I don't. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, we're not even a month in. How? I feel like I'm behind. I, I like, in a way, I felt kind of dumb. Like, I was, I was just sitting there because you had mm-hmm. like student helpers there, but they, they kind of didn't want to help you. Yeah. <laughs> They kind of got frustrated a little be- for the ones who didn't know how to program, mm-hmm. and so I kind of, I kind of just stopped going, stopped showing up, and mm-hmm. yeah, my grades started depleting. And then I talked to my advisor because I've been wanting to do something with business, and so I went to business admin, but it was kind of already late to take the classes I needed. Mm-hmm. So and so I yes I was still able to. To change my major, but I kind of just had to take just classes, yeah, just to take them, and yeah, I that's when COVID happened, Woo. Was, and so I had to move back home. Two weeks, they're like, you know, two weeks, yada yada. I'm like, all right, cool. Oh yeah, two, I remember that. That cool, didn't happen. Weeks. Yep, cool. Two weeks, and it turned to. Two years. Two two years, and now here I am. I decided not. I didn't want to do online because mm-hmm. I'm I'm like I'm I'm gonna be working a lot, and I don't want to. I don't want to pile both because if I'm gonna be doing full time at a job, and then doing online classes, but with the whole COVID thing going on, um, I don't know how much I'd really be learning. Yeah. And so I was like, yeah, I'm not. I I won't do it and I think you dodged a bullet there. Online classes are very hit or miss. Mhm. And that's also a thing if they can be hit or miss. So mm-hmm. that's also another reason why I kind of didn't want to do it. Especially with all the teachers who were not previously doing online classes and now mm-hmm. they had to. Oh god. <laughs> Those were fun. <laughs> Like the Zoom classes actually work better than for me than the normal online classes, but still, because mm-hmm. like if I can listen to someone talk about a thing, mm-hmm. then it's way easier for me to get it than if I'm just reading a book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I'm more of like a and like, a like lot a hands of online on. classes, they're just read the book. And then I will test you on this subject matter. And it's like, okay, why the hell am I here? I can just get this book. Yeah, that's how I am too. I it, If I want to truly learn, I have to do the hands-on experience. I have to do it in mm-hmm. order for me to learn. Because um, it's, it's like if someone told me, read, the, read these couple pages on how to handle the register now go out there and do it like let's say if it was my first day being mm-hmm. a cashier and they told me and read it and go i I'd, I'd be lost i'd be like oh, okay how do i do this how do i do that and doing I it like oh remember this but i don't remember how yeah like and so that's um so i'm trying to get my real estate license um and i just have to take the test for it I failed the first time, so I gotta mm-hmm. gotta retake it. And again, with it being real estate, uh, I kept making myself down because I'm like I'm stupid. I don't know. Um, I I I feel for failing the test. I'm like, well, I don't know real estate and whatnot. So I had to talk with a brokerage that I that that invites me to their meetings, and mm-hmm. uh, she was like, you know, don't be like that to yourself. Um, you know, it's just a test. The test doesn't mean anything. Like, it's just to get your license. Like, once you're here, we will teach you real estate. But this test test, it's just to get your license. Like, don't mm-hmm. like, don't think that's not knowing real estate. You won't get it. And she's like, no, like, you'll be fine. And so it kind of just made me want to do it more. And here I am still uh doing that with the podcast and walmart (laughs) you got a lot going on yeah and then also um 
uh, with my girlfriend. She has she's going in for a CPS for well, human services at, at Southeast. And, you know, she's a team lead at Walmart. So she's got that stress upon school. So she's she's very busy, too. And mm-hmm. but I mean, it's. It's better to be busy than they kind of really not do anything like really like like not even go to work like just be a couch potato i mean yeah there's like a balance to it i think yeah everyone's balance is kind of different but generally some, couch potato is not the ideal yeah some i mean some people may may see someone as a couch potato but really they're doing stuff at home like they're yeah working at home or yeah being like a youtuber at home and they walk out and eat at mcdonald's because i mean what else are they gonna do i mean they got youtube they do youtube and they go on the real world but but i do have to end it early because i do (laughs) even though yes it's 11 52 uh but i have to go get gas so i don't (laughs) all right because you know i gotta (laughs) i gotta travel Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna have to end this early. That's all right. No, you're good. I mean, don't really know what else to talk about. I usually start getting ready around this time anyway. Alrighty, so I guess, so I guess we're both good. I'm I glad hope... we managed to keep up a conversation. You said I'm, I seemed very quiet, and mm-hmm. I am. So I did make a list of things to talk about if I forget, if I don't, <laughs> I couldn't find anything. The nuclear oh. option was Pacific Rim. Pacific I could Rim, probably fill two hours with <laughs> reasons I didn't like Pacific Rim Uprising. Well, because I did uh, tell Kaylee. That's her name, right? Kaylee or yeah. Kylie? Kaylee? Okay. Kaylee. Um, I I also told her. I'm like, uh, I'll, I'll say your – I about said your real name, uh, mm-hmm. Nix. Um, so she seems – super quiet so i don't really even know if she'd even want to and mm-hmm. she's like yeah i mean go just give it a shot ask and so i did and you said yeah sure i'm like cool <laughs> she, she was she said cool and i want to get david but i don't know <laughs> i i want to get him but please send me it if you do <laughs> you'll be able to watch it on if i do you'll be able to watch it on youtube but I, I don't know. I, I don't, will he even know how to use Microsoft Teams? I think he could figure it out. Even then, I mean, how weird is it to, t- to talk to your team lead, have your team lead on, on your podcast? I mean, because <laughs> at work, he's my boss. But when it comes to here, he's my guest. So technically, in a way, I, I'm kind of over him because I'm the host. So I guess it, I don't know. It'd be a little bit awkward, but he, for his, uh, hit or miss dad jokes, Mm -hmm. you might hear him a lot if I get him. Yeah. May I'm thinking also Dylan, uh, Dylan probably would see, would be down for it too. Maybe is it Colin or Colin? Colin. 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 I don't know why I said Colin. Unfortunate for someone to be named Colin. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to figure out their names. Uh, uh maybe. I, mean, I feel like he'd be down too. He he'd be down for it too. Yeah, probably. He seems, he seems like a cool guy to be down for it. He is. But yeah. But like I said, any any other things you want to say? Kind of like the the adios of anything. Uh. I was going to make one of those, like, jokes where you plug something you really like, but uh, I can't think of anything. Pacific Rim, your favorite movie. Yes. (laughs) Watch Pacific Rim. Also play the original Paper Mario. Okay, goodbye. (laughs) Hey, Paper Mario. Listen. Mario's Mario, so. Mario is Mario. Paper Mario is very good. Honestly, most of the... Mario RPGs are actually surprisingly good. Yeah, basically. Well, but, I guess. Yeah. All right. Oh, no, I, was a, I was just going to say, I'll try to get my contacts in. Um, you still don't have them? 
No, I decided to put. I decided to put put them back in the, and it's a little like. Let me just quickly show you. Into a little contact container. Into a little <laughs> thing because I'm like, I don't, I don't want to mess with it right now. Uh -huh. I don't have time to mess with it right now. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll see you at work. You drive safe. And see you at work. Drive safe. I'll be on the pod, uh, not podcast. I'll be on the interstate speeding. So. <laughs> All right, wait. I can't prove you did it, and therefore I'm, I have plausible deniability. I will just uh, silence it so then I won't get told on. All righty. Well, you have a good rest of the day. You too. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.